Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a really kind of fun, colorful collection that came out this year. ColourPop Barbie collection came out last week. I've been playing with it, testing it out, seeing what I think about it. I am wearing it right now on my face, so that's why my lips look really bright. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this. All right, so I was testing this out when all of a sudden ColourPop decided that they needed to come out with another collection right after this. So I'm kind of surprised how quickly they came out with a new collection right after this one was released. I don't know what they were thinking because, you know, I feel like people barely got a chance to enjoy this and actually try it out and see how they think about it and, you know, if this is something that's worth getting or not when all of a sudden they started coming out with something else. So I don't quite understand why they couldn't just maybe wait another week before then release something else. That's just me. I'm still gonna review this. I'm still gonna give you my thoughts about it and see what I think of it. But anyway, <laughs> I got the highlighter, the eyeshadow palette and the lip duo. And as you can tell, the lip duo is pretty bright, but I will go into that in a second. But first off, what I really want to talk about is their highlighter and it is their Super Shock highlighter and it is in the shade Beach Party. At first, when you look at it, it doesn't seem that light, but actually after you start swatching it and playing with it, it does, you know, brighten up. In fact, I have it on my cheeks on my high points of my cheeks and up here as well on my nose and on my upper lip. The con I have with this is it's packaging. It is such a pain to open. Like I'm trying to open it right now to show you and I'm just having like the hardest time. All right, there it goes. And I just, I don't know what the heck the deal is with this, but I'm not thrilled about how difficult it is to open so i don't know if it's just mine or everyone else's but it was not easy to open it's very difficult that's my one complaint that i have with this so far but as i've been going along with it it is super buttery it's such a buttery smooth highlighter and it's so pretty i kid you not just swatching it it's just like so nice it's actually a little lighter than what it's showing on right here. I don't know why it's making it dark, but it's actually really light. So it's it's actually right here and over here you can kind of see. So yeah, you can kind of see it more. It's just a little more of a glow, glitter kind of thing. It's super, super pretty, very pigmented, and it's just so nice. It's very buttery, like I said. I don't understand though why it has to be so huge. <laughs> the packaging and I mean, I, I guess the mirror is nice. I don't really see a need or a point for that. I already have a, a bigger mirror that I can use to put on my makeup. So as nice as this is, I don't quite understand the packaging of this. It's it's just, I don't know. It's, it's not something I'm gonna take with me on the road and can continue to add highlighter throughout my day if I need it. It's just, uh, I'm, the highlighter itself is nice. Packaging, I don't get. Now, what I wanna talk about next is the palette. And this palette is super pretty. The swatches, the actual pigmentation is beautiful. I, I'm just showing you a couple right here just to show you a little bit of how they look and just how well they swatch right here. So I'm just gonna do it right here. And that's just a little bit that I have. So yeah, it's not a lot that I put on, but it's just like super, super nice. It It is very pigmented and a little bit goes a long way if you just take your time. And of course you can build up to it. What I really, really like with these is that they're very soft. They're very pigmented. They don't hurt your eyes when, when you're putting on the eyeshadow itself. The con, of course, is that there's a, quite a bit of fallout as you're using it and you're putting your brush into it. So you will need to dust or tap off the rest of the color that's on your brush as you're putting it on. Now with this look that I made, I really, really love these blues, Malibu Memories and Surf's Up. So I use that kind of as an eyeliner, as you can kind of tell. But with the other colors that I used, I actually used Boardwalk and I used that more along the crease 
and kind of just kind of flicked it out a little bit on the on the corners outer corners of my eyes and I kind of just blend that over there I then got SoCal which is like this really beautiful kind of a lighter burnt orange kind of color and I put that more on my lid and I just wanted to just kind of soften that and blend it in with border walk which is more of a muted pink mauve pink kind of color it's, it's really really pretty and then I actually took Vintage Doll, which is a shimmer pink shade, and it's super pretty. It's so nice. I love this color so much. I'm trying to get it to focus, sorry. Let's see if I can do that. So there you go. So it's this really nice, really pretty, pretty pink color, and it's just so pretty. It's super, super pretty. I love this color. For me and my eye shape, putting colorful, just, eyeshadow on the bottom of my, of my eyes just doesn't work for me. It just, it just makes my eyes look smaller, but I actually do like to put shimmery lighter colors on the bottom. So that's kind of what I did is I used vintage doll and I actually put on the bottom lower lash line and that seems to just brighten my eyes and kind of make them look a little bit bigger and pop a little bit more. And that's kind of what's been working for my eye shape and my eye look and the things that I want to do. And then I actually used Malibu Memories and I actually did that first. I kind of created that line and I kind of brought it in more towards the eye line right here. Then I used Surf's Up, which is more of this really shimmery blue. So this is Malibu Memories right here. And then this is Surf's Up. And you can kind of just see just how pretty they are. They're just so nice. It's super, super pretty. So yeah, I put Surf's Up on top of Malibu Memories and it kind of just made the eye look kind of pop a little bit more. So you can kind of see just how more brighter it brings out that color. I really like the Malibu Memories, that really nice blue, but I wanted just a little more pop to it. So that's why I put Surf's Up. And what's really nice is that these colors just blend so seamlessly together. There is just a really nice intensity. You can build it up. I think these are great. You can definitely do a more neutral look with this palette. There tends to be more neutral colors, but then there's more pops of color. For example, West Coast is just this really, really bright yellowy mustard color and it's just so, so pretty. And just, just swatching it, you can kind of see. So it's just, it's really nice and you can just add to it. Let's see if I just keep going with it. And just that yellow is just really, really nice. Of course, you know, it's it's a lot brighter on camera, so I'm sorry that it's not showing you the more truer, richer colors that this has, but this palette's really, really nice. The con is that this palette is $25. Again, you're buying the name, not necessarily more so the colors. Not to say that the colors are bad or that the pigmentation or the eyeshadow itself is bad. It's not. It's really, really nice, but you are buying a name, so $25 is quite a, quite a lot for... I feel ColourPop, I mean, they have more affordable eyeshadow palettes for less than 20. There are pops of colors, the, the yellow, pink, the orange, and the blues. They're just really nice pops of color. And then there's also these other colors that are more neutral, so it can work with it. And definitely I feel more so it works with the Barbie theme because Barbie does have pops of color, but it, I feel it goes more so with a beach theme and just you know when you're out in the sun your color this color of your skin tans or changes color and it just it just works I think with the entire collection itself and I think that's really really nice that they were trying to do pops of color but also do more of an everyday look that you could do with this so I wanted to share with you the swatches and names of the colors so on the first row of this palette we have Cali Girl Vintage Doll, Come On, Let's Go Party, and Shine On. In the, in the second row, we have West Coast, Best Coast, Follow the Sun, Malibu Memories, and Zuma Beach. And in the bottom row, we have Make Waves, 
Boardwalk Surf's Up 1971 and SoCal. Again, these colors are really nice. You can't go wrong with it. But like I said, you are paying more so, I believe, for the name than the actual palette itself. But I do believe that this is something that is good to invest in. You can use this for many things and it will last a long time. All right, and last but not least, the thing that is on my lips <laughs> is this lip duo set I have right here. And I have them um, in the shade Malibu Sunset. And like I said, this lip duo comes together as a set. You can't buy them separately. And what's really nice is that it's so pigmented. I actually think that you could probably just get away with just actually just using the lip liner and then putting a gloss on top of it and just go about your day. Like you don't really need the lipstick. But for this instance, and to demonstrate with you exactly how these lipstick, how this lip duo works, I actually am wearing both. So I have right here the lip liner and then the actual lipstick. So these lip duos, these things are super creamy. This lipstick is super creamy. The, the liner, you don't have to push really hard to get the color to work. It's, it's an actual creamy color. And just based on how it looks, it looks like it's something that you actually need to sharpen itself. Like there's no twist to it. So you can sharpen this so that you can get a point again. They also have uh, two other lip duos, more of a mauve pink neutral kind of color and then more of a kind of a light brown lip duo that they have. But I kind of felt like this could work more so for my skin type than I believe the other two. As much as pretty as those were, I felt like the, the pink one, muted pink one probably would look more gray on me and I didn't really want to go with that. So I wanted to go with more so with this color but it is super pigmented. It's really creamy. You can kind of see from here, just one kiss, just how intense that is. It's, I know it's upside down, sorry, but it's just really, really strong, really pigmented, really, really nice. Overall, I mean, honestly, this is a really nice collection. The reason why I did not get the mirror, I felt like it just looked so tiny. I don't know if it's just me, but I felt like it was really small and I didn't see the reason behind the actual mirror, hand mirror, if the highlighter and the eyeshadow palette come with one. Why am I getting another mirror on top of that? I, I, I didn't quite understand the thought process behind that. I don't get it. I don't know if it's just something that they're trying to add to just general ColourPop collection or something to have in their store and they thought, let's just add it to this. And they also did a heart makeup previously for their Valentine Love makeup collection earlier this year. So I'm, I'm not sure what they were thinking there, but I felt like it was really unnecessary and I don't know, just not needed. So I chose not to get that. But overall, I think this is actually a really great collection. I think it's really nice. Again, this is more of an investment. So it's something to consider. And I can definitely see you using Malibu, the, the eyeshadow palette for more of an everyday mute, neutral kind of maybe colorful look. I don't know how you can maybe do this with an evening look. Maybe you could. There is Zuma Beach that is more of an, a dark brown. So maybe you can do kind of an evening look with that. But Overall, I I see this more as a playful, everyday, you know, maybe doing a brunch kind of deal. But overall, I think these are really, really nice. You can get them right now at ColourPop. I, I think that some of these items are still available. I'm kind of surprised that they still are. <laughs> I, I was expecting most of these things to sell out just because it is Barbie. But it's super nice. I think it's great. You're definitely getting your money's worth specifically. Can't go wrong with this one. But um, I hope this gave you a little more insight. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of when I upload new videos. And I hope you have a great day, great week, great weekend. I love you. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.